Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your financial abundance. Tarot, an oracle card reading for October 2024. This is a reading for all Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to start off here with your angel number. You've got 101, 101, starting over intelligence, dynamics, making a difference, failures, personal or spiritual development. Now, we were just talking about the word failure at work the other day and how that scares people. I think it's okay really to embrace it. If you had a situation financially that ended that you didn't feel great about, that can be the greatest catalyst to pushing you forward, to advancing you. Happiness is linked to self-expression, growth, and experience. Learning from failures is key. Happiness is real, possible, and around. Understand its process and the pursuit of it. Joy is fluid. It's in the little things and the big ones. Fails are fun. Start fresh. So if you start seeing the number 101, Know that your angels are talking to you. Know that you're being given guidance. We are going to start off here with the Moonology Manifestation. These have already been shuffled because I know people are so eager to get to the messages. They don't always enjoy watching four decks get shuffled, I understand. Go to a live reading sometime. Though, if you feel like sometimes YouTube tarot takes a while, get ready for an in-person reader when you're hearing about their stories for 20 minutes. All right, you, we're going to layer on here. These are the Fortune Oracle. And then we'll consult the tarot. Now, these are laid out in past, present, Future and the advice. In the past, you have the Two of Swords, the Justice, and the Queen of Wands. In the present, you have the Five of Cups, the Sun, and the Ten of Swords. Well, there's definitely an ending here. In the future, you have the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Fool. Time to start new, a big transition. You know, now we just peeled this off. We can't, got two cards in order. The Fool, then the Magician. That, and when we have 78 cards, is important. Your advice, I feel like they're saying with the Magician, know that you have more power in a situation. Know that if something feels like it's holding you back or causing you more conflict, it's time to let it go. Okay, anything that holds you back, because you do have an ending here. Now, you have three major arcana. No, I'm sorry, you have four major arcana. You have Libra here. You technically have all the elements in the card of the magician, but you have a lot of air. So be careful with just overthinking. Allow things to let go. Give yourself that starting over. You have the first quarter moon in Leo. Be humble. With the card of flowers, be generous. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Okay, now, even if your generosity, you know, I've seen people give away to someone else who had less than them, and it helped them just to feel abundant. So if you have things that you're not using, and maybe you know somebody who's just starting out, they're getting their own place. If you can find things even in your wardrobe, I've given people young professionals many years ago, I mean, not recently, because they haven't really seemed to have been asking me, but... I've given people that were starting off in their careers in my same field clothes, okay? And this thought, you know what? I don't really wear this. And, and, and so those kinds of opportunities can really help to have you feeling the abundance that you already have things so much that you don't even need all of it. Now, with this, I feel like somebody here in the past, you were not seeing opportunities, maybe not seeing how much marketability you had, or even if it was something that you owned, knowing that you have some things here too that may be a value that you could sell that you're not using, okay, that there's money on the line. Now, for some of you with justice, that's also too, if you got burned financially, if you had somebody who borrowed money and never paid it back, and they're not going to, I don't see it coming back around, 
I feel like you're going to see things, or even if it was something with a job, if you lost a job, with the energy of justice, the tables will be turned. You, and especially the Queen of Wands, you're going to be so glad you are nowhere involved with this. I just feel like it's one of those times where the universe makes moves that you won't make for yourself because the universe hears conversations and sees things that you don't see that are not in your highest good. So with the Queen of Wands, I feel like you got away from someone or something that was very disloyal to you and that you're walking into a situation that will foster so much more security and loyalty. It's just unreal. I feel like you're getting rid of things that just would have been precarious for you. Now in the present energy here, you have the new moon in Gemini. Think it through with the card of unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love, which I would agree with the card of the sun. Now the sun is synergy. And so for some of you, you may have an opportunity that you end up saying no to with that five of cups. That may also be people around you are disappointed. If you have some opportunity too, if you own a rental property and you tell somebody no based on their credit or based on something that you know is not a good idea to rent to them. I feel like with this energy, you're not going to regret it, but they may be a bit salty, okay? They may be very dramatic. With that 10 of swords, know that that is turning up the drama. And I feel like though, you know what you know. And so I feel like they're saying, especially with the energy of the sun, that you're standing in the sunlight of the spirit, that you're being guided and protected. The sun brings in a total match. It's gains, riches, and it is the energy of flying high. It is true success. So where the five of cups has changed, there's disappointment here with the overturned cups. And I always say, this card to me is the, the proverbial question, are we done admiring the problem? Because the solution's right here. And so I feel like you're gonna have the power in a situation and I do feel like for you, I keep hearing no means no. I feel like once you say no, it is because you know it's not for you. And so I feel like if you turn back against that, that you're going to regret it immediately. And that's just how I get it. Like you're, there's something about this with the energy of the sun where you have a new door opening, doors even too, that you say, I've been wanting this for a long, long time and it's time to move forward. Now, like I said, if you have if you have some kind of a, a like a rental property, or even if you own an extra car, and somebody wants to borrow it from you, and you feel the need to say no to them, I just feel like you're gonna dodge a situation that would make you have a problem if you don't. So, in the outcome, you have full moon in Aquarius. Be real with the card of the unicorn. Success, hope, freedom, healing and magic are all available to you if you just believe. So with that card of the unicorn too, I feel like staying true to yourself is important, but I also feel like if you have a lot of other people trying to give you their two cents, it's like to me, you're the unicorn. Like you're doing things in your own way, and I feel like you're gonna be glad about that in the end. So with the energy and the outcome, the seven of wands, and the Ten of Wands are like putting your hard work into play here, but the Fool is a big transition. So even if it's about a house, if you bought a house that needs repair, or you did something, it just feels like you're going against the grain, but I feel like with the Fool, you're gonna be really happy about the outcome. That Fool energy helps you take that leap of faith. It helps you make a calculated risk, and with the expansion of the Seven and Ten of Wands, especially if it's a purchase of a house. Like people are saying, why would you wanna go in that area? Like I just keep feeling like you have naysayers around you, but I feel like in the outcome, you're gonna be really happy about the results. And with that fool, it really is about a brand new beginning and a big transition. So in the advice, you have full moon in Sagittarius, see the bigger picture with proposal a romantic or business opportunity is indicated. So you may have the opportunity here, like I said, to do something that's a little bit out of the ordinary and others of you, 
if it's something that, again, somebody wants you to do, you're going to have the veto power and know how powerful you are. Try not to overthink it with that five of swords because ultimately with the, the queen of swords, you're going to call the shots. The magician is law of attraction energy. So know that you're in a powerful position to manifest. You get what you feel about. And I do feel like with this, you're going to have the say, the final say. So good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.